on the 13th of September, 2022. Sadiq Gaya, a 34-year-old man, was found dead in a swimming pool in a certain hotel here in Abuja. The medical evidence that came out from his body after the body was exhumed and taken to the National Hospital clearly reveals that he was killed before he was dumped in the pool because his body didn't swell out of taking in water or inhaling water. And so that raised a lot of suspicion as against the general acceptance that he um, died in an accident. Investigations began. Certain individuals were arrested. And some of those individuals are children of very powerful political figures in Nigeria. There are evidences to that effect, including eyewitness and ear witness um, persons who say they heard or saw certain things. Even the camera, um, the camera in the hotel also captured the time he came in and never showed when he left. And so there, there are lacunas in the course of investigation that reveals that even the hotel was complicit in what transpired from when he entered until his body was found in the pool. After these individuals were arrested and detained by the Nigerian police, while awaiting the arraignment and possible call to justice, something really unfortunate happened, which is why we decided to come to the press on behalf of the Daya family to make this known to the public that, and also for the protection of the witnesses who stand in the path of danger right now, because their life may also be on the course to be snuffed out so that evidences will be hidden. At the time, uh, there were hue cries. Why do you want to kill me? Now, those are part of the things that is left for the investigators to investigate. And we don't have any right to say what we didn't hear because we didn't hear it. Anything we say here will amount to hearsay until who heard it says what he heard. And only the court of law can uh, make that possible. So there were um, uh, people, the people who um, were in charge of the camera in the hotel. Um, uh, the son of Omolori came in because they are good friends and there was a pointer to why he would possibly be you know, involved in his murder because they had issues relating to finances. You know? And uh, after his demise, monies were you know, uh, removed using the ATM of uh, the deceased by the same person. And this is a subject matter that the father is also aware of because he had gone to the father and complained with regards to a certain amount of money which was taken from him, which he wants back. So these are all the circumstances surrounding you know, that uh, incident. Because of the money that triggered the crime, he siphoned 3.8 million using the ATM of my stepson, Yes. Siphon 3.8 million from his account. He uses ATM because he's like under spell with the boy. They've been long time friends and uh, he has indulged him. And um, there was the 3.8 million he siphoned from his account. And the boy now wanted to pay his, uh, my stepson wanted to pay his son's school fees. And now to that to the police, I need my money. He continued dodging him, seeing one thing or the other, until my stepson had to go and report to his father, Omoluri Atabasami, who is a former clerk, who knows them as friends right from youth. And the man promised he was going to pay my son his money. But lo and behold, he did not pay. Until this good uh, Friday, Sunday, uh, Saturday nights, 
he called the boy that he can now come and collect his money. That was Monday. He left his house on Monday for the office. That is the house he never came back. But his wife was called on this Tuesday afternoon. That is, that her husband is sick, a small girl too. Her husband is sick and in the National Hospital. And um, they rushed there. She rushed there and found him stone dead. And there was no evidence that he was drowned anyways. So that is it. And she was the one who told me that, Mommy, your son was killed. I said, how? She said she noticed some blood from his nose and from his ears. And there's nothing like that he was drowned. And the first doctor's report did not indicate that he was drowned. Because after killing him, they went and dumped him in the, in the swimming pool to see, to show as if he was drowned. And um, you can see from the footages, which is in some of you, that he came into, they made sure he came to the hotel to be cited. He was in his suit because he was from the office. And then later on, they drove him away. But when they asked them, where, where is the footage to show when he drowned? They said there was no light. At the point of his death, when he was swimming to death, there was no light. And believe you me, it was it just a make believe because that my son can even cross the river now. But he was trained very well in swimming. They came up. He's the son of Kabiru Gaya. They have been exposed to all this. So everybody knows that it's most really poor and not drunk. So thank you.